My name is Dale Vince. I'm the founder of Ecotricity. I've set myself a challenge. I'm going to build a wind-powered car. It'll be an electric car charged from the wind, so there's zero emissions from it. I want to build a sports car, out-and-out -out sports car. That's the challenge, a wind-powered car. testing here at Tip Limited and it's all going very well. We have our ideas and we've implemented the ideas. We now need to test them to make sure that they actually do what we thought they would. The development phases, checking it out, making sure that all the things are right that we that they should be right. I, I sent Dale an update and just had a reply back. If the car's getting near to being finished, can he have it on Monday please? It's too early to give him the car and he's obviously going to be impatient because he'll want it and he can see it moving and it looks fine. There's still a phase, especially of the battery management system, to develop. We've, we've had to get the car going because, um, because of the time it's been taking me doing the BMS. Rather than just stopping and waiting for Tim to catch up, we diverted him onto doing the vehicle control computer to get the car running. So there's a massive amount of data that at the minute Tim is logging as the passenger and that needs to continue until the BMS is ready. At the moment we can charge the car quite happily, you just plug your laptop in and tell the, you know, switch it on and adjust it and, and let it go. So we can, we can do it, but it's quite a manual process um, that needs to be automated. The car has to be driven, it has, we have to put some miles in the car to be able to sort these things out. It's almost unheard of to come to first test and it to run with no problems. It's very, very rare. You can easily spend as much time and money, if not more, on the development of the car as the design of the car. We haven't got unlimited budget, major sponsors that you just say throw more money at it and work day and night, throw more people at it. We haven't got that. If this was a, a program within a big car company, there'd be an army of engineers around it and it'd still be 18 months, two years away from being released to the press or the public. There's a fair bit of brain power got into it from everybody. Uh, so it's, that's good. There's a lot of pressure from Dale saying, come on, I want it, I want it, I want it. We would advise not at this stage. So here we are in Stroud. We've been trying to see Dale for the last couple of weeks to talk about various aspects of the project and he hasn't been able to get to us, so we've come to him. So, um, lots to talk about because the car's not really finished, but he wants the car and we've got a job list and expect he's got a job list. Yes, he is going to take the car away, but not for another couple of weeks. We're getting the car ready now for Dale to use so that he's got it in a real world environment. So Dale is now really integrated into the development team and developing the car. The guys arrived at my house about half an hour ago with the truck, dropped the car off, ran me through a set of instructions, gave me a handbook. So I've driven the car before of course, so it's not so uh, crazy exciting as last time, but it's, it, it'll, it'll sink in over the next few days as I get up in the morning and the car's sat out there and I start using it as transport. I've got a log book, the guys have asked me to check the temperatures of a dozen different things every time I finish a journey, that kind of stuff. So it's a, it's a road trial, that's what we're about to embark on, probably for the month of August. Yeah, I was keen to get the car, yeah, because it had been, it was going to be May, it was going to be June, it was going to be July, and it's been going on for nearly 12 months, and I just really was keen to draw a line under the work and say, right, let's, let's get it on the road and, uh, and start trying it out in uh, real-life circumstance. It's definitely not the finished, polished show version, but um, that can come later. There is still work to be done. The biggest part of that is the battery management system. Uh, until that's fitted, then the car has to be charged manually, which is a bit of a drag. I'm going to try and drive this car every day, just somewhere, just to, to put it into normal use, and just to kind of shake it down a bit and, and you know, learn some things about it, how it all performs and stuff like that. Valuable stuff for the guys as well, uh, so that when it goes back, probably in early September for the BMS and, and the finishing touches, then uh, I can feed back anything else that needs doing to make it a better car, an everyday car.